Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain how to test and diagnose the automatic transmission when you have P0758 2 and 6 brake solenoid valve fault code. So first of all, this video is applicable for Kia and Hyundai 6 speed front wheel drive transmission. Those automatic transmission that normally we call them as A6 GF1, A6 MF1, A6 MF2, a6 LF1 or A6 LF2. So they are all under the same category with different torque capacity. Kia and Hyundai started using this transmission around 2010 and many of the front wheel drive cars on those two brands are actually using this transmission. So there are many different faults as well. You can find all different type of diagnostic videos for the transmission on our YouTube channel. On this video, we're gonna have a look at the wiring diagram first to get some idea about what we are going to diagnose. Then we're gonna have a look at the scan tool just in case if you have the scan tool, that part is gonna be helpful for you guys to diagnose the transmission. And then we will get to here to diagnose the transmission and the faulty components on the transmission connector. And later on, I'm gonna show you how to find and remove that faulty component inside the transmission as well. let's have a look at the wind diagram first what you see here is exactly the wind diagram for this specific car that i'm presenting today this is actually the automatic transmission wind diagram so what you see on this section as pcm is actually the powertrain control module because on this car uh, engine and transmission control modules are actually integrated into one component that's why we call it pcm so you won't see a transmission control module separately they are in one unit this one is actually showing the transmission internal components so we have input sensor here and this is the output speed sensor so this is basically one quick introduction on the wind diagram and when we go on the car to perform the diagnostic i'm going to show you how to perform the diagnostic on each wire we have some group of solenoid valves here and the other ones right there so as you see right here for example i have shift solenoid valve a and this is a solenoid valve for 35r this is overdrive clutch solenoid valve uh, torque converter solenoid valve and the last one is oil temperature sensor which are all connected inside the transmission so on this transmission we have two power supply for the solenoid valve power one is actually for four of those valves and power two is feeding the other four all right guys let's have a look at the scan tool to see how we can diagnose the transmission with scan tool in case we have this fault code for two and six brake so first of all i have connected my scan tool on the system selection i'm gonna go for transmission so from here i need to select the transmission and then we go for the data stream so on the data stream you need to select of course the current gear and if you scroll down you need to go for this one shift control solenoid valve two and six brake okay first of all for understanding how to diagnose the transmission with a scan tool you need to know what type of solenoid valve you have basically this solenoid valve is supposed to provide the oil pressure to two and six brake and this solenoid valve itself is normally low it means when transmission is on any other gear than second and sixth gears uh, this solenoid valve is going to give you low currents right now that the transmission is on the park and we are getting 50 milliamp but when transmission is on second or sixth gear this value should be changing to 850 milliamp so right now i'm going to shift the transmission to drive but if i shift it to second gear you see we are getting 850 milliamp this is exactly what we are expecting so on second or sixth gear we should expect 850 milliamp on the other one of course the milliamp should drop so if you are getting normal value it means everything is working properly but if the value is not correct you need to process for checking the wiring the component or even the transmission control module so today i'm going to show you all the steps you need to perform the diagnostic for that fault but before starting the diagnostic if you guys haven't subscribed the channel please consider subscribing the channel to get the notification when we upload new diagnostic videos 
Alright guys, for checking 2 and 6 break solenoid valve on the transmission after uh, checking the solenoid operation on the scan tool uh, we need to perform some tests over here so the first one is actually checking the power supply on here uh, but you already know that that power supply is not only for 2 and 6 break so if you do have any failure on that power supply you're gonna have uh, failure on four solenoid valves but anyway I'm gonna show you how to find it uh, right here so as you see the wind diagram the power supply number one is providing the battery voltage for two and six brake solenoid and as you see the connector guide this is pin number five this is pin number five so ignition switch on I need to check the power supply between here and body ground so as you see we are getting almost 2.5 this is exactly what we are after for this power supply this confirms that PCM is providing the power supply if it is not provided you need to check this wiring all the way from here to PCM and the next one which is more straight on the solenoid itself is actually checking the solenoid internal resistance on uh, transmission connector right here not on the harness right here so for this as you see the diagram if we actually check the resistance between pin number 5 and pin number 11 we are going to check the internal resistance of 2 and 6 brake solenoid so you see the connected guide right now on the screen but that one is actually for the harness you need to match which pins are sitting over here on the pin number 5 and 11 to have a better measurement so for that I'm gonna use these two pins to insert them on the pins so they then I can have a better measurement so this is pin number five and this one is pin number 11 and this one on the resistance then go for measuring the two and six brakes solenoid internal resistance as you see we are getting 5.3 which is exactly what we are after this is the proper internal resistance value on uh, 2 and 6 brake solenoid if you are getting something different it means the solenoid most likely or transmission interior harness is broken so you need to drain the transmission fluid to reach the valve body and check it out at the end of this video I will show you how to do it all right guys for two and six brake solenoid we already checked the solenoid internal resistance from here if the internal resistance and the power supply that we already checked they are okay the next step before reaching to the transmission valve body is going to be checking the solenoid control line so as you see on the wind diagram two and six solenoid uh, is connected to the PCM with a red wire so one end of that solenoid is connected to the transmission connector right here and the other end on the PCM right there so we need to find each end one by one and then we can check it with the multimeter so for finding the first end on the transmission connector we are looking actually for pin number 11 and if you see the connector guide for this one you see that this one is pin number 10 I do have some numbers here actually this is number 10 the next one is going to be number 11 so this is the first end and the other end on the PCM is actually connected to E triple G double A connector as you see on the screen and we are looking for pin number 46 uh, which is actually a red wire so if I show you from here I do have some numbers actually this is pin number 1 22 43 so this connector is actually rotated what you see on the screen is different from this one this one is actually rotated 100 degrees that's why I, I start counting from here uh, this is number one 22 43 so if I count this is 43 44 45 46 so I'm looking for 46 a red wire I can insert the prop from here but I'm gonna show you how to find the wire from the back so this is actually this blue wire is 43 so I'm going for uh, this is 43 40 4, 45 and 46 that's red wire in the back this red wire here this is exactly what we are after so I'm gonna back prop the red wire just right from here all good so 
So now we can go for the inspection. On the multimeter select resistance, one end of multimeter right here on the transmission, and the other end right here. So as you see, we are getting the continuity. It means the wiring is not open, and we are getting low resistance, less than one ohm. It means there is no high resistance on the wiring. So if you find any problem here, you're going to need to get it fixed. Otherwise, you need to go to the next step to reach to the valve body and find a solenoid. So let's go for it. All right, everyone. Uh, you already checked the two and six solenoid valves on the transmission. You checked the wiring. We tried all of them one by one. If you want to inspect it over here, if you haven't found the fault on the transmission, if you want to do it over here, you just need to drain the transmission fluid and reach to the valve body. You can do this inspection when valve body is on the transmission as well. All right, so you don't necessarily need to remove the valve body. So you can do it when it's on the uh, transmission. After draining the transmission, when you remove the oil pan, you can reach to here. I just removed the valve body for some other purposes. If you need to remove the valve body, you can find the video on uh, description. But generally, two and six brake solenoid valve is just right here. This is the number three from here. This is a two and six uh, solenoid valve. Uh, for removing this one, there was one bracket at the top. I removed the bracket just by removing these bolts. If you remove these bolts, you can take the bracket out, and then you can reach to the solenoids to take it out just like this. This is two and six brake solenoid valve. So this is how you can replace it, but if you want to check the solenoid one more time on the uh, valve body, you can check the resistance again over here, just like this. So as you see, I'm getting 5.4, which is okay, which is exactly what workshop manual tells us. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got everything you needed for uh, this fault code. And please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos. If you are interested to learn more, you can check our online courses on udemy.com where you can enroll to full diagnostic courses and get the certificate of completion. You can find the link to those online courses in the video description.